I've been living under a rock watching the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial. Before I jump in the She-Hulk trailer, check out this breakfast I'm eating. Fucking honey smoked turkey sandwich and some berries. And check out this girl. She's gonna watch the She-Hulk trailer with me and give me her thoughts. I feel like a lot of people who react to these Marvel shows and Marvel trailers are such big comic book nerds and know everything that they're saying. I don't know anything that I'm saying. I watched WandaVision, I liked it for the most part. I watched episode one of Loki like a few months ago and I've been meaning to finish that show and I've watched two episodes of Moon Knight so far and I don't really like it, but I'm in the middle of episode three right now. I'm not the biggest Marvel fan, um, but I'm gonna watch She-Hulk trailer and tell you what I think about it from the perspective of someone who doesn't know what the fuck he's watching. I don't really care for Hulk in general, so the fact that they're having two Hulks now, like a Hulk and a She-Hulk, it's whatever. Oh wow, the Hulk's in it. This Hulk actually looks the most like Mark Ruffalo's Hulk like the CG on this Hulk. I feel like it's getting more and more to look like Mark Ruffalo, which I like. I think it's cool. Oh, he purposefully transformed her into the Hulk. That's interesting. They're kind of like a uh, Shrek and Fiona, if you think about it. Yeah, it does seem that way. Billionaires, narcissists, and adult orphans. She hold. I thought that she would be hiding how she looks as the Hulk. I like that she's kind of out and about in public. That trailer was actually better than I thought. I would probably rather watch that show than another Hulk movie. Because I don't care for the Edward Norton Incredible Hulk. I think it's fine, but I've just never been a big Hulk fan or fan of the Hulk character. It's just like, meh. But that show looked kind of entertaining because I like that they're playing up the whole Hulk thing as a joke. And it's kind of like self-referential. I might watch like two episodes of this show and then decide if I'm going to finish it or not. Kind of like how I've done with Moon Knight and Loki, which I do plan on finishing those shows. But the She-Hulk trailer looked better than I thought. I'm kind of surprised. She-Hulk, Attorney at Law. I like the title of it too. It's just ridiculous. It looked entertaining. But the thing I feel about it, the MCU, especially after watching Doctor Strange uh, Multiverse of Madness, a movie I didn't like at all. Um, how they had America Ferreira, she was just like a character on the street and now she could punch holes into different multiverses. I feel like there's a superhero on every fucking block now. Like I feel like if you like, like I live in an apartment complex. If I were in the Marvel universe right now, I probably, there'd be four other superheroes living in this apartment complex just because there's so many of them. I feel like every time you go to a grocery store, there's a couple superheroes in the grocery store. There's so many heroes now in the Marvel universe, especially with the multiverse shit. There's like infinite amount of these uni Marvel uh, superheroes. I just feel like it's becoming a bit too much. Maybe they need to reboot the whole, th the whole thing or just cancel it or go back in time and make Endgame, the last Marvel movie, and just end it right there. Anyways, now the She-Hulk trailer looked pretty good. I'm, I'll check out, I'll watch episode one and see how I feel after that. I'm sorry, I just, I try to watch these Marvel shows. I'm trying, they're not my thing, but I'm trying to enjoy them so I could stay, stay relevant. Now, I told you we'd ask Kona, but she's also Kona. What'd you think? Pretty good? Pretty good? <laughs> yeah. Let me know what you thought about the She-Hulk uh, trailer. And 
check out my Etsy, etsy.com slash shop slash evil broomstick. I make hand painted horror hats and hats based on my favorite movies. So go buy yourself one, get something for your bad hair day. Peace. That's actually a decent tagline. I just thought about that on top of my head. I want to see my plant. Check out this fucking plant. <laughs>